This is David. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a Copilot agent using Copilot Studio. Copilot agent uses generative AI to accomplish a set of tasks, such as creating a chatbot, creating some workflows, and other sorts of knowledge sharing. It also provides end to end capabilities, so you can do things like create your own actions, uh, publish to a channel in production and analyze usage of your agent along that channel. Copilot Studio is a low code, no code tool that allows you to create an agent without writing any code. Now, I've already logged into copilotstudio.microsoft.com and I've signed in and you'll notice that on the left here, there's a button that says create. And if I click that, then I can create an agent and I have a choice. I can create it from one of these templates, do things like asking questions about travel or about finance or about the weather or about a particular website, or I can click up here on new agent. And if I click that, then I'm going to create my own custom agent based on my needs. But notice that this has a chatbot in it because Copilot Studio actually has a Copilot associated with it. And I can ask it questions and give it information and have a dialogue in a natural language like English to create my agent. Right now it's asking, it's telling you what it is and ask what would you like to make? What I'd like to make is a chatbot. So I'm going to tell it I'd like to make a chatbot designed to support users in achieving their health and wellness goals. It provides personal advice and resources across various aspects of health, including fitness, nutrition, and mental well-being. It says, great, initial setup is going on. Please conf and, and then it says, how about a name? How about wellness guide as a name? Please confirm or suggest another name. And if I like that name, I can just say yes. But I'm going to change it. I'm going to suggest the name should be Gcast wellness. How about that? And then I'll give it that. And then it's going to take that in. It's going to ask me another question. Okay. The name is GCAS wellness. Notice up here, the name changed to GCAS wellness and it says, what should you be, should be emphasized or avoided in responses of GCAS wellness? I could say nothing if I wanted to, that, that would be fine, but I'll give it a little bit of instructions here. I'll say, do not answer medical questions. This is all about health and nutrition and wellness. We're not trying to be a doctor. We don't want that kind of burden on ourselves to maybe potentially give some bad medical advice. So let's do that. Uh, how would you like GCAS wellness to talk? For example, should be formal, casual, motivational, subtle? You know, I think I'd like to be friendly. How about that? Nice, friendly. That's probably similar to casual. I'll get a tone here. Uh, and then it says, okay, it's going to be friendly. Uh, let's determine the data source for GCAS wellness. Provide a publicly accessible website that should be used as the data source. And so if I want, I can specify a particular site where I'm going to focus the answers. I want to get the answers from there. Maybe I have a health and wellness site or some other site. Um, and it, it does have the restriction here that it's, the URL can be only be two levels deep or less. And what that means is that if I were to, for example, say davidgr.com, that's fine. And if I had a subfolder on that, like AAA and another one, BBB, that's that's two levels. AAA and BBB are two levels. If I had a third level like that, it wouldn't work. It wouldn't accept that. Now, for now, I'm just going to say none. I don't really have any public website that I want it to pull information and answers from. I can go back and change that later, but that's all pretty good. Is there anything else you'd like to add or modify? No, there's nothing else. I think that's plenty, but I could add extra instructions there if I want to. And now it's ready to go. I can go up here and click create. And in a few seconds, it's going to create my agent. And it's going to give me a design service that allows me to modify that agent to my special needs.
here it is. It's ready to go. It's telling me all the things that I told it to do. And I can change some things. And one of the things I could do is up here on these tabs along the top, you see knowledge. Here's where if I had added a, a website, that would appear here. Right now, it's I'm just telling it, just get information from the public internet. That's fine. I've also got topics right here. There are custom topics and there are system topics. They're just created for me automatically. These are our workflows. Some tr something triggers a topic to go and run a workflow. And some of these are very, very simple. So for example, conversation start. When this thing first loads up, as soon as it starts, I just want to display this message. Hello, I'm, and there's a variable name in there, bot.name. In this case, bot.name is GCAS Wellness. Hello, I'm GCAS Wellness, a virtual assistant. Just so you are aware, I sometimes use AI, blah, 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 blah. And that's what I did. You see over here, this is a little test panel over here. It started up and said, hello, I'm GCAS Wellness, a virtual assistant, just, as, just so you are aware, et cetera. It's on here. So there's one of the topics that we've already seen. Another one is this greeting right here. And this one has a trigger of entering a phrase. And I could test this out. I enter a phrase, good afternoon, good morning, hello, hey, hi. I can actually modify this if I want to, if I wanted to add, for example, good evening and add that. That's in here. Go ahead and save that. And um, I could delete some of those or edit them if I want to as well. And once I do that, if I enter one of, any of these phrases, then a message will come back, hello, how can I help you today? Let's just test that out. I'll say, hi. Hello, how can I help you today? And that was it. So those are really simple topics, but there are some more complicated ones here. This one is slightly more complicated. Start over. So if I say, let's begin again, start over, start again, restart, anything like that, it'll, it'll ask me a question. Are you sure you want to restart the conversation? And it has to be a Boolean answer. So I have to answer yes or no. If I say yes, it'll reset the conversation. What that means is that by default, if I start asking questions, it remembers the context of what I'm asking. If I say, tell me about uh, diet, and then it tells me something about diet, and I say, tell me more about that. I don't have to say diet again because it remembers the conversation, has some context. But this will reset it. If I say yes, if I say no, it'll just say, okay, let's carry on. So let's test that here. Uh, the phrases, the trigger phrases are things like, let's begin again, start over, start again. And in fact, this is actually smart enough that I say, let's start again which isn't one of the phrases exactly, but it did, it still worked. It still triggered it. Are you sure you want to restart the conversation right here? And it presented, it knows it means a Boolean answer. So yes or no. And if I say no, it goes down this path and said, okay, let's carry on. So here we've got some conditional logic and you can even see the path that it took. This is bolded right here. A more complex one here in our system is the fallback because if I ask a question, and it doesn't understand the question, then it'll ask me to rephrase the question. And you can see that in here. So down here, I have an unknown intent, means it's, I've asked it a question that it doesn't understand. And it says, I'm sorry, I'm not sure how to help you with that. Can you try rephrasing? And what'll happen is it'll keep doing that up to three times. Once it gets to the third time, then it'll come over here and it'll escalate. So it'll ask me to rephrase three times and then it'll escalate and escalate is actually another topic. I can click on that to see that topic. And here uh, you could trigger this by saying, talk to an agent or talk to a person or talk to someone or just call it directly. In here, it says we haven't actually configured this yet. It'll just show a message right here. So this is a, a more complex topic that's available to us. Let's now return to this knowledge tab. And as I said before, there's nothing on here right now. So I can ask it questions like, oh, how about, what are some tips for eating out healthily? So I go to a restaurant, how do I eat a healthy meal at a restaurant? It'll answer that question right now, but it's gonna go out to the public internet and retrieve that answer. And here it is, there's all sorts of information here. But if I wanna be more specific, I can do things, I can add some knowledge here. And the options are, I can point to a specific public website and give it the URL, or a SharePoint site, or a Dataverse, which is a, a database uh, tables, table-based database, or I can just add my own file, upload my own files here. And that's what I want to do here. I have a document, a Word document right here, that has a bunch of questions and answers 
about eating healthy. So, and one of them here is how do I eat? Uh, how, uh, what are some tips for eating out healthy? And it says when eating out, choose dishes that include plenty of vegetables, whole grains, etc. That's really the answer that I want to give. All this other stuff is fine, but I'm I'm particular about this. So what I'm going to do is I am going to go to here and upload that document right here. Upload that file and leave this open. This will probably take a few minutes because it has to not only upload the file, but it has to read it and parse it out, analyze it, and add it so that it's searchable. So I am going to pause the video here and I'll come back in a few minutes when it's done. We're back. It's just a couple of minutes later and it is ready to go. It is, uh, that document is now part of this. It's been parsed and I can search against it. So now if I ask the same question, what are some tips for eating out healthily? Instead of getting the answer from the internet at large, I get a specific answer from my document. When you out, choose details that include plenty of vegetables, whole grains, lean protein. And I even have a link to the document. Now it's not formatted as nicely as a Word document, but you can see right down here that it, uh, where it got that information from. The final thing I want to show you is deployment. And when I deploy, I want to deploy to a channel. So I select this channels tab and we see all these things that we can deploy to. Notice that you have a warning here because it shows Teams authentication, only Teams channels is available. Uh, I need to change my authentication settings. I can click on this link to take me right to it, but I'll show you the long way around. Settings, security, authentication, and to do deploy to a web, site i'll use no authentication essentially anonymous authentication now i've set that i can close it and back here in channels now i can deploy to a website i can create my own custom website right here and put all the html that i want in there or i'll just start with a demo website i can modify it after the fact you make a little bit of changes here to the text and the conversation starters but this is the url to which i will deploy i'll copy that to my clipboard and save it and then publish to this demo website. And this will take a few seconds until it is published. I could close this if I want to, but as soon as it's done, I'll open up a new tab and I will go to the URL that I've copied on my clipboard. And here you can see some conversation starters. This is the prompt text right here. If I say hi, I get what we expect this right here. Uh, if I go in and tell it, what are some tips for eating out healthily? It responds with information from that document. And if I click on that, I see the text of that document here. So this is a way you can take it full circle and actually deploy something that your users can use. In this video, I've shown you how to create an agent using Copilot Studio without writing any code, create a custom topic for that agent, and then deploy that to a web application. This is David. Thank you for watching.